much traffic on I-10 yesterday. I had like a two hour delay. So I had to come up with a decision. Go ahead and shut it down right outside Houston and Baytown that it loves. I took my 10 hour break. I had to hit the road early. I got 210 miles right now. This place starts receiving at 7. So that's what time I aim to be there. Hey, before I get started running my mouth, man, I want to go ahead and take a moment of silence for the Houston flood victims about a month ago. Let's take a moment of silence real quick. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, man, I, I shut it down last night about 4 o'clock. Man, I said... I was, trying, I was trying to get up with Mike Jones, man. I had to tell Mike Jones, man, you know, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all on me. I called his number. I still I still remember his number. Didn't he have it in my phone? 281-330-8004. I called his phone, but his phone was off, so. If anybody see Mike Jones, man, tell him I was looking for him last night. Come find him. Hey, Shout out Frenchy and Red, man. Maybe y'all seen my jumps. Yeah. Next time I come back to Houston, man, I'm gonna get up. I gotta get up with Johnny Lane. So I can give you a couple of ice and gold chains. Next time I come back. I don't know when that's gonna be. Hey, that's a long ass drive. 1200 miles from Columbia, South Carolina, because that's where I picked this level up at. Columbia, South Carolina. So I got six miles, so I'm gonna get off on exit 778. Drop down on US 59 South. And I, at that point, I should only have like 200 miles. Drop down on 59 for about 150 miles. Then I gotta get on 77 South. That'll take me all the way in. Shout out my cousin, Nikayla. All the way out there in El Paso. I crossed the border yesterday. 
out of Louisiana. I see the sign for El Paso. I think it said it was like 860 miles from the, from one side of Texas to get to El Paso. I said, I said, oh no, Kayla. She asked me was I gonna visit. I said, I don't know about that, Kayla. Might be a little too far for me. If anybody seen Paul Wall, tell him I need a new grill. So I can go holler at Nelly. What you looking at? Let me see your grill. Uh uh, your grill. Got it, got it something with the with the bottom rows go. Y'all, y'all too young for that, man. Y'all don't know who Mike Jones is. Who? Mike Jones. Y'all too young for that, man. I know DeMonte too young for that. DeMonte the truck. Mike Jones came out. Yeah, he probably, he probably about two years old. You don't know about that Texas shit, bro. That slam. Slow, loud, and banging. R.I.P. DJ Screw. R.I.P. Pimp C. Shout out to big homie Bun B. Tell Webby I said what up. Keep that shit trill, baby. Big state of Texas. The Longhorn State. If I got some free time, I might stop by one of the rodeos. To see if I can tame the Brahma Bull. Y'all know how I do. I like to be a little adventurous. TD the trucker, bro. I missed you, bro. I'll catch you next time. You probably done gone back to Little Rock by now. I'm just running my mouth. Flatbed gang. Perfect. Perfect. We the mafia. Not literally, but flatbed gang. Made it, gang. Made it. Hey, when I used to work in Melbourne, they used to have this rule where you couldn't call the cosignee. You can never call the cosignee. But let me tell you, man, working working out in the real world, you definitely got to call the cosignee. Because the address that I got, it wasn't even, it wasn't even there. So I got there, I showed up. They weren't there. I called the coach sign E. I was like, yo, I got these pipes. Where you want me to bring them at? And he just gave me another address. It was like six minutes up the road. So that's where I'm at now. Yeah, but you definitely got to be able to call the coach sign E. Sometimes you need help. I saw the pipes right up there on the ground. Yeah, there's some tight squeezes back here, too. But we almost in there, baby. We almost in there. Yeah, this definitely ain't the right address that they gave PNS. But it's all good though. It's all good though, baby. So this looks like a job site right here. Okay. Now I gotta call this guy back, see where he wants me to meet him at. Signals. 
Like I'm back at my old job, Smithfield Packing. I had a lot of Honduras out there. I had to, had to tell them how to do stuff. Had to talk with my hands. Cody. You know how we do. You know, speaking English. <laughs> little, little English. Poquito. Poquito. Another one. 